Hey guys, welcome to a video. I feel like getting back into vlogs is like kind of tough, but you guys, I'm just chilling, listening to some lo-fi. Lo-fi is so dope. Like I feel like I was into it before it was like this big thing. I actually feel like everyone was into lo-fi until they figured out like what it was. So we're all in the same boat here, but I'm actually about to get into some editing. I have a buttload of stuff to edit for Beyond the Root. So as you guys know, I did a link with Pootie and a link with uh, Jimmy Got Soul. And those videos are gonna be dropping real soon if they're not already. And I almost ran into a mishap actually because I was uploading all of the footage onto my computer and then like the disc wasn't getting read, which I mean the SD card, it wasn't being read properly. So I almost lost a whole bunch of footage that was super crucial and I needed, but somehow I ended up getting it all uploaded. But right now I'm actually creating some things to refresh the channel because I haven't created new lower thirds or you know, like buttons and stuff like that to make these videos more appealing and more fun to watch. Stuff like this. See what I'm saying? Like that just made the video 10 times better. But we got a lot going on today. I have some stuff that I'm gonna be doing. I actually need to give myself a fade and goodness gracious, you see this? This is stuff that I'm working on. But you guys stick around because I have a lot going on today. All right guys, I'm pretty close to being done with all of the editing that I'm doing, like preparing for the YouTube videos and everything like that. And I just came up with this intro and I think I'm gonna actually stick with this. Now the beat, the beat is by Travis Scott. He produced the beat and um, I don't listen to Travis Scott, but this beat is just like, I really enjoy the beat. Uh, it's really dope. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little intro that I'm most likely going to be keeping for this channel, but let me know down below um, because this is something that I want to stick with for a really long time. So let me know what you guys think about this intro. So it's pretty clean, right? Like I'm really enjoying this um, and it's interchangeable. So like the pictures and stuff in there, I can most likely change throughout time. Um, depending on if things change, but yeah, I'm super stoked on that and I'm almost done with being on my computer right now And then right after that, I believe I'm just gonna, you know, give myself a quick Haircut and kind of line everything up and make everything look good But yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down below what you guys think about all the new Assets or accessories that are going on in the videos like the lower thirds or the intro and everything like that Comment down below if you guys are super stoked about them because I'm super stoked about these. <laughs> hey guys, basically finished up over there. Figured I might as well come over here and hook myself up with some sort of haircut because like I said, my hair is banging. These hairs are like so weird. First off, I've already explained to you guys before that this side like automatically just goes up higher. It's just like natural, but you see how it like drops back down right here. But yeah, this is really weird. Um, And then it like, yeah, just goes normal. And then this one goes up too and then I just like basically brush it down and then line it up to even everything out because if not I'd have like a round hairline versus a straight one hey man 100% transparency hour <laughs> once my hairline gets pretty long it looks like really weird so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna trim that down trim down the sides and most likely just do a little taper fade I'm not gonna do a fade that's gonna take me really long to do so I'm just gonna knock this out really quick I'm gonna be using these which I don't know why they're dirty right now that just means I didn't clean them. <laughs> but I'm gonna be using these Ion Max 5 speeds and then my Ion Max 2 speed trimmers. So I'll just do a time lapse of me, give myself a fade, and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. see I still have this part that comes up and then this one slightly comes up it's not really terrible it's just the hair is a little thinner right there which typically on people the temple the hair around your temple is a little lighter and this I was just born with so like if you look at baby pictures of me I had 
this little spot right here. Always had it. I'll put a picture right here. I'll put multiple pictures just to show you guys. This is what I'm dealing with. But I use this, which which in the future I plan on doing a hair transplant and I'll document that. And I'm really looking forward to actually doing that. But in the meantime, between time, I use hair fibers and I use a card, note card, um, just to basically cover this and then spray over. So you'll see this is the before. And then I'll do this real quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward. So there it goes. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the process. So this is what it looks like. And then I just literally do that. I spray over. That's too dark. This happens. I just brush it out. These hair fibers that I'm using right now are not the ones I typically use. This one's actually darker. And um, if your hair is brown, like get brown hair fibers or get like a step down of a hair color. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have dark brown hair, get a brown that's not as dark as your hair. Just because you want this to fill in, you don't want it to like look dark. So there's before. That's how I want it to look. Because you want it to look as natural as possible. So I shoot from a distance. And voila. See, this needs to get fixed. But the overall goal is to make everything look natural. And this is the entire cut. I'm feeling good. Feels good. I did the fade completely different than usual. I actually went up higher in the back. And I like the way this actually looks. I like having more hair on my head versus doing a really high top fade. Um, I think I'm going to transition and start doing my hair like this. But yeah, looks good continue the rest of our day all right you guys next morning and i'm editing again this is really what my mornings look like but i'm actually going to be editing the beyond the roots episodes right now which i'm really excited for the first episode when i filmed with jimmy we literally recorded for almost an hour we were sitting down for an hour long so not sure how i'm going to break down this video maybe just keep it all raw but it is really long so i want to be respectful of people's times that watch the video so i'm most likely going to chop it down and break it down um and then also the Pootie episode isn't as long, but it's still pretty long. I'm actually really excited to edit these and put them together. And then all these episodes are going to be released real soon. But I'm actually going to edit this real quick. I plan on either doing a reaction to your guys' dreadlocks or looking up photos of freeform dreadlocks and seeing which ones I really like. Kind of just getting inspiration. That's most likely what I'm going to do, the second one. That seems really cool. So I'm most likely going to be doing that. I'm still going like super ham on editing right now and I'm uploading some stuff right now and it's taking quite a bit of time, but this is buying me some time to actually look on the internet and see what I can find as far as everything freeform dreadlocks. I know we're going to see like, you know, some of the weekend, you know, Jaden Smith, Basquiat probably, Bob Marley, all these people that have different sets of freeform locks. If any of you guys don't know what freeform locks are, Freeform is basically allowing your hair to freely form. That's where it gets the name, freeform. Some people call it neglect dreadlocks, but neglect is completely neglecting everything whatsoever. It's something that I don't plan on doing, and it's all personal preference. I'm not exactly sure why people do neglect dreads. Like, they don't wash them. They don't, they don't maintain them whatsoever, but freeform is really cool because you can wash it. I mean, I don't plan on doing any maintenance. If there is any, it's going to be minimal. But if I do happen to start doing maintenance, I will definitely let you guys know because I don't want you guys to think that freeforms look a certain way because freeforms are very distinct. So I'm just going to go on to Instagram and see if possibly I can see some on there first. And then we'll just review some and see what looks best. But I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really stoked to see what they would look like on myself. So I might actually try, you know, I've done it before to where I Photoshop and see what my head looks like with a certain hairstyle. So I might end up doing that on another video when I have more time. But yeah, I actually posted a picture of Jimmy on the Instagram page because we are doing a collaboration and it's still going right now, I believe. So you guys can go head over to Great Locks after this and go check out the whole series that's going on. It's super cool. But yeah, let's look up freeform. Okay, this guy has really long freeform hair. Now this is kind of, I wouldn't even say kind of, this is way down the line of dreadlocks. This is about at the, I would say, 
maybe close to 20 years. Nah, I'd probably say 10 years. I would say over 10 years for sure because this hair is really long. I'm not sure if I'd do that, but that's really cool. Let's see, like something like this is really dope. I probably wouldn't wear it for my face, but I like the way thick dreadlocks look. And you can see how the tips, there are little fingers on there. Those are Congos. And I think the wicks just look really good. Wicks are thicker dreadlocks. They're really thick. And he has like some wicks that are going on to, off into Congos. And that's something that I think is really cool. So I'll possibly end up doing that. I like the way the... Jimmy just texted me, by the way. Um, that video is dropping today when I'm filming this. It's about to come out right now. These are very cool freeform locks. They look somewhat maintained, but they're most likely not. And her hair type looks about the same as mine. So this is probably what we're going to expect with my freeform hair. They may be thicker, they may be thinner, but this is really cool. I like how they look like dreadlocks. They don't look what people would call like, oh, those look dirty or they look messy. And I personally like the messy look, but this is very clean because it just, it just look really cool. They look like the definition of dreadlocks. When I think of dreads, that's what I picture in my head. I like dreadlocks like this too, like afro locks. They're really cool. I don't really prefer afro locks because I don't really like, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, I would say just an afro on top of my head. I want them to hang and these will hang eventually. But the thing is, is it's going to take a while for the roots to lock up. And the only way for these to really hang is for them to get weight and they are hanging but for them to start laying down. They're gonna have to grow for quite a long time. Like the guy we seen at the beginning, his hair. These are cool too. I really like this look as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna rock a pineapple top with freeform locks, just because with freeform, your hair will stay in a pineapple. Like it'll look like that most of the time. If you see people with freeform hair and it looks like, you know, it looks like their hair is in a pineapple or it looks like they have a hair tie in, but they really don't it's because they have a hair tie-in all the time with their freeform locks. And that's actually the style they're going for most of the time. But I'm not sure if I wanna keep my hair in a pineapple top. I would like to see it just freely form without putting any hair ties in it. And then after I see it forming, then start allowing myself to put a hair tie-in because it'll be formed already. Here's another picture of locks that I think are really dope. I actually think this is the same lady we just seen. But hers look really cool. This is the same guy we just seen, different angle. I like the flat looking dreadlocks. At first, they look weird. If they're short, they don't look like really good, in my opinion, especially if they're on me. Like I wouldn't really like them if they were short on me, but over time, if they're getting flatter and they're getting longer, like I think it looks really cool. Best thing to compare it to would be like beef jerky and that's no shade whatsoever, but uh, his hair looks really cool and I like the way this looks with the flat long dreadlocks, especially with the fingers at the end or the, con uh, yeah, the Congos. Like, this is Jaden's, so obviously he started twisting. What, one thing about Jaden Smith's hair is he's twisted at the beginning and then he started twisting at the end of his locking journey. And uh, that's where you get the way his hair looks and exactly the same how my first set of locks looked in the beginning is I started twisting in the beginning, I maintained it a bunch. And then probably a year, maybe two years in, I just stopped doing everything and then I just allowed it go, allowed it to lock up. Uh, Willow Smith has some really cool looking locks as well. I've, I would say hers are more freeform like than Jaden's. Hers are actually longer than this now. And her hair just looks really cool. If you see any more updated pictures of her, her hair is really, really nice. Here's some really thick dreads. You can see that they're skinny. There's an afro at the bottom. And see, this is something that what an afro locks or afro locks would start to look like over time if you weren't to do any maintenance to it but this is actually really dope i like freeform locks they just look clean i feel like it's a very unique hairstyle to have and i would say everyone who has it looks really good with them because overall just everyone who has a unique style just looks really good these are really dope as well you can see that the ones in the front are actually short but yeah i just like the thick dreadlocks look and a lot of people don't like that look. A lot of people like, you know, maintain looks like this. I personally don't um, like this look on myself with the maintained look, but um, yeah, I like the thick ones. They look really cool. So here's what I was talking about earlier with people putting rubber bands in their hair. And some people will section out their hair. And I think I know one person, I'm not exactly sure his name, but 
he sectioned out, I think, a couple sections, probably two at the least. But he had two, and then it locked up like that. And he maintained them at first, and then started putting rubber bands in, and then eventually everything started like kind of locking up together. But um, these are actually really dope too. Dang, these are really clean. Yeah, and like stuff like this is just really nice. I think it just makes everything more unique, and I like the unique look. It just looks really clean, and I really like it. See, this is what I'm talking about with the afro locks. This actually looks really dope on him, um, especially tying in, the, in with the beard. Here's another set of afro locks. There's a bunch of actually really cool um, freeform locks on here. These are actually really clean too. But like I said, it, I think it all just depends on the person and what they want for themselves. Overall, like I said, freeform locks just look really clean on the person. When I get them, I know they're gonna look really cool. I like the way knot locks looks as well. And um, his were actually semi-free form. John Smith had some free form locks, but they're just Congos. And um, they were, they're semi-free form because they did some sort of maintenance, but here we go, some wicks. And see, he has some rubber bands in there. And um, yeah, it looks clean. Yeah, stuff like this looks cool. It's kind of like how Jake Cole's hair was in the beginning before it started hanging. But yeah, I'm really into free form locks and they just look so clean. And it's something that I've wanted to do since the beginning. I just didn't really know how because I didn't know how to lock up hair. But um, but yeah, that is today's video. I just wanted to look at people's dreads and freeform, uh, their freeform locks and see what's going on. This person actually posted recently. He has more of a freeform style of locks, but yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below which one you thought was really good. And um, I just thought all of them looked really good. And the cool thing about freeforms is they're all different and they all look really good. And I'm excited to see what happens when I allow my hair to freely form. But thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. It means a lot to me. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.